The analog comparison does what it sounds like. It lets you compare one analog signal to another and gives you feedback on whether they're equal, unequal, greater, less, etc. To get an analog comparison into your program, use the speed key A comp 2 or expand the conditional folder under logic symbols and then click and drag the analog comparison full set over to the detail view. On the input side, we have the two analog signals that will be compared, and the relationship between the two is determined by measuring the first value against the second. If value 1 is less than value 2, then the less than output will go high, the less than or equal to output will go high, and also the not equal to output will go high. If the two values are equal, then the equal output will go high, the less than or equal output will go high, and the greater than or equal output will also go high. It's worth noting that the inputs of the analog compare only produce dependable outputs when the inputs are unsigned integers, so only when the inputs are positive. Let's build our example program. I'm going to use two analog increments. The first will be driven by the X panel, and its output will be routed to the value 1 input on the analog comparison. Its parameters are going to be, well, they're going to be contrived just for the sake of demonstration. The second analog increment will, as you probably guessed, feed the second input on the analog comparison. Its parameters will be the same as the first, except that its range will dip into the negatives. And it will also be driven by the X panel. The last things that we need to do are to take the outputs of the analog increments, feed them back to the X panel, and then we're going to take all of the outputs of the analog comparison and also write those back to the X panel. Alright, so that's it. Let's compile and upload to the processor. So if I increase analog increment number 1, we see that the two values are not equal. Analog increment number 1 is greater than number 2, and it's also greater than or equal to number 2. If I make the second analog increment larger than the first, we see that they are still unequal. The first is less than the second, and the first is also less than or equal to the second. And if I decrease the number 2 increment until we reach the value of 4, we see that the values are both equal, but they are also less than or equal, and greater than or equal. Now all of these outputs are expected until the output of the second analog increment goes negative. The values are different, so we expect the not equal sign to go high, but what we don't expect is that value 1 is considered less than value 2. So why would a negative number be considered greater than a small positive number? It has to do with the way that signed integers are represented. An unsigned integer can take on any of the values from 0 to 65, 535. On the other hand, a signed integer uses positive numbers to represent negative numbers. An analog comparison can be useful in situations when you're monitoring an HVAC unit. Let's imagine you're interfacing with a third-party air conditioner with a temperature set point and a current temperature reading. You could use the analog comparison to check and see if the current temperature has exceeded the set point. And you could use the output of the comparison to trigger the cooling on the HVAC unit. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see something else in our videos, leave us a comment below or on our Twitter or Facebook or Tumblr or Instagram pages. Maybe MySpace. We might have a MySpace.